Yo, what up, shoestring ballers? We're back and we're in Paris. And we got all the fun to have, so watch the ting. Yeah. <laughs> We went to Paris to meet up with this guy that Jack met on MySpace called Olivier. He was busy in the morning, so we thought we'd go and check out this abandoned railway, which is like right through the center of Paris. We found this sick French abandoned railway. I thought the abandoned railway was super cool because in London, if there's any sort of even abandoned building, it's just, you can't, there's no chance you can get in there really. So it just surprised me that it was, I guess, a bit more like liberal, but we could just go down there and no one really cared. It was a lot of fun taking photos together until we went all the way down this really long tunnel. And look how far it is to the other end. We thought, let's take the shortcut under the under the tunnel to his house, you know, because we were only like 0.3 kilometres away. We just walked for about an hour all the way down this train line and arrived at this massive gate. So we've got to go all the way back again. After eventually getting out of the railway, we met up with Olivier. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Oh, what do I do in Paris? I just live in Paris. I was born and raised in Paris, making music, working, trying to be a, a husband. No, I'm not a husband. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to do like music, but apart from that, I'm trying to be a good person. I met Olivier through MySpace, through the power of the internet, man. And we're just both, I guess, had just first started making music and we're just throwing them up on the little MySpace player. And then just like, yeah, let's make a beat together, like through samples back and forth, some drums and whatever. And then last year, I went to Paris with my family and I was like, oh yeah, I'll hit him up because I've never actually met him in real life. Maybe you, are, you will have to convert it to AIF before you can play it because now... Sometimes I feel like doing a type of sound and the next day I wake up and I want to do other stuff. I don't want to get like pigeonholed in one genre or one style or one type of thing. If like I want to do r and I'm going to do r and If I want to do jazz, if I want to have musicians like playing uh, my music, that's what I want to do. I want to like diversify. As long as the music is, is good to me and as long as I have fun, it's, it's great for me. After we made a beat at Olivier's, we headed out and he was doing some modeling for a clothing company called Poison Pearls, which was set up by someone who knew in like an old rap group. I tend to gravitate uh, towards people that are like passionate about something. Like a lot of my friends, they do like photography, they do, they do music, they do DJing. So yeah, you, you kind of like meet the same people and it feels sometimes like everybody know each other. And that's great. It's like Paris, sometimes it feels like a little village too, when you're in, kind of that, that scene, when it, in a hip hop scene. I think what we're doing in London is what all young creatives are doing, trying to like make a life for themselves out of what they're really passionate about. And it was wicked to see Olivia and his, his friends are doing exactly the same thing. And it's, it was, yeah, it was inspiring to see them kind of going about the stuff that they're doing and like they're all doing really well they're all really successful people this is they just like killed the goat to make this jacket so i wear it now and it's it's cool the goat. so olivier sorted us out a gig tonight which we're just on our way to now at a place called tony's hey tony <laughs> this is it it's the end what are you doing get up Paris is done, just getting on the Eurostar now. Thank you to Olivier for hooking us up with the DJ set and uh, photo shoot. We'll be back soon with more videos, yeah? Yeah.